everyone, it's Daphne, and we are going, I'm going to share with you what I did for the inside liners, which is very straightforward. I just used two 8x8s uh, on the inside, uh, front and back. Mm. And they fit okay because I actually made my covers four and a quarter by four and a quarter instead of eight and a half. I'm sorry, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter instead of eight and a half by eight and a half. And of course, the pocket pages remain unchanged. So I wanted it to be just a little bit smaller. Sorry, I just cut myself. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Um, I just poked myself with my scissors and they're super sharp. So that's very simple. I was able to cover... Um, the, uh, one side of each one of the um, page inserts and um, we still I still have one two three four 12 by 12s uncut and I have these two eight by eights that I haven't cut into so you definitely have enough uh, paper to cover the flip side um, and you won't you don't even have to do any color blocking they just won't uh, match or be alternating like this so um so that's what I did so that's easy so right now we're gonna go ahead and install our pages I'm gonna have to get them back in order that's seven six five four three two okay so here's page one remember and there's page two and that didn't stop it shoot that's frustrating. It didn't feel like it went very deep, but I guess it did. So I'm going to sit down and we're going to go ahead and start installing these. I know you guys have seen a whole lot of the top of my head today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I haven't moved the camera. It's me. Somehow I just keep creeping into the frame. All right. Sorry. Either somebody's walking a dog or somebody's trying to deliver something. Okay, I think I got it to stop. We'll see. I gotta be careful not to get it on my uh, pages. All right. Here we go. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take my inserts out because they're falling into my line of sight anyway. for today. <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard. I don't know what I'm getting stuck on. I can't feel it. How about if we go from this side? Oh, it's something on this side. So don't worry if you struggle sometimes, because it is a struggle sometimes. Sometimes they go right on. And I like my hinges to be really snug, because when you're putting them in the book, if you have a lot of play in your in your um, in the hinge, then your page can go up or down, and it makes it harder to lay them all down uh, in a line. Um, sometimes you'll have some raised and some lower. What is my problem? Okay, that's in. I don't know what my problem is. <sighs> Sometimes I'm trying to do it and I look around and I see that I'm actually trying to get it uh, underneath the hinge on the other side of the page. <laughs> that's not a good thing. Actually, I'm going to go this way first. And then, of course, this is our chance to go up or down um, to straighten things out. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, now I'm going to go put my inserts back in. Okay. 
There we go. Put this insert back in. Don't have to worry about it flopping. I like the way that turned out a lot. Okay, so page three. I must have been trying to stick it under a hinge. Okay. I like page four and five. I like the dark, rich colors. is splitting on me. There we go. Hmm? Yeah. Line it up nice and neat. Could be I just didn't burnish it enough, and so it's um, separating before I'm ready. I think this is so pretty. strength in my hands and my fingers specifically. Okay, where does this go? Right here. Okay, lovely, lovely. So we've got all our pages in. So the last thing we're gonna do on the cover is we're gonna decorate the spine real quick. Let separate these pages so it'll stand up a little bit for us. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so I've got some charms, and if you buy your um, paper from us, we always try to send some coordinating charms, and they may vary depending on you know when you order. But right now, what I'm going to install is the starfish, the um, seahorse, and this crab. 
and I put them all on a little bit of chain and then I'm using this old-fashioned uh, safety pin and I am going to attach it all to this. So I'm going to run my, um, I can't remember what you call them. It's not a brad, is it a brad? Maybe. Through this hole and then open it up and then I'm gonna glue this um, little fussy cut element right here like this, so it's going to cover up the prongs. And I'm going to attach my charms. And I want to do it before I glue it in so I can figure out the orientation of that circle. Attach my charms, like so. Now, of course, you could do this with a jump ring, too. I just wanted to try something different. Okay, so I want to make sure that if I attach it this way, all my charms are basically going to lay for face forward and it turns out the answer is yes they will so i'm going to put a little bit of tape on here and then glue the tape is to hold the um the metal prongs in place so they don't spin while i'm trying to install it and then the glue will hold the um the fussy cut down And I, I don't know for sure, but I, I think this came from the 8x8 cover sheet. Okay. I want it to go like that. Let's see how far they... And like I said, I just fussy cut this and ink the edges and then added my little charms. Aren't they cute? That looks nice. And that's it. All right. I keep going back and forth about putting something up here. I just don't know what. Maybe I'll cut this little bit out, this, this island word, and add it to that. I'm not sure. If I do, I will show that to you and point it out in the walkthrough. But for now, we are done with the inside liners and the page installs. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Almost to the walkthrough.